Hi, and welcome to my channel. I thought we would do a chit chat, get ready with me. I have some new products here that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. Some older products that I just want to see, you know, it's been a while since I used them. So grab some of your makeup, stuff you haven't used for a while, or some things that are brand new, and let's get ready together. Oh. All right, so I have products here that I haven't tried. Some are from Tarte. ColourPop, CoverGirl, Kylie Cosmetics, and they've just been sitting in my bin trying to wiggle their way up to getting used. So I thought today would be a good time to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna put um, lip balm on my lips. This is the Tatcha Gold, Camilla Gold Lip Balm. This is my favorite to put on when I'm trying to get ready because it's very nourishing and thick so that when I wipe it off at the end of my makeup application, my lips feel ready to go. And look at this uninvited guest. I'm trying so hard not to touch that. Oh, I gotta put a sticker on it <laughs> tonight. That happened overnight. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my anti-fatigue eye primer. Put that under my eye. So how are you guys? It's May, and my littles are in school. My bigs are home doing school. I'm using the Farsali Liquid Primer. It's so crazy because with my four kids, I have two kids in middle school, and they go to school two full days a week, and my littles that are in elementary school go to school four half days a week, and the school that I send them to is like 30 minutes away, so I'm in the car a lot. Good thing for audiobooks and for podcasts, right? <laughs> I don't listen to music as much as I used to. I used to love music. Okay, I'm going in with this smoothing primer from Tarte. So what podcasts or books do you guys recommend? I listen to, I make my kids listen to The Daily, The New York Times Daily <laughs> in the morning. Even my kindergartner, she may not understand everything, but I make them listen to it for current events because the school that they go to is really big on current events. So I make them listen to that in the mornings. I do like Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert, but if you guys have any podcasts or books that you recommend, please list them down below, because I'm in the car a lot. Okay, I thought I haven't used the Suku Cream Foundation in a long time, so I thought I would use that. I have mine in the color 120, and this is one of those that comes in the jar like this. I know this is not my favorite just because of the mess it makes, but I wanted to try this because I wanted to see if I wanted to order another color. Oh, I think I got too much. I wanted to figure out if I needed to order another color. So I'm just gonna use the Love by It Cosmetics brush. And I do think this is light, so maybe I should get the other color because I do like how this wears. It's so skin-like, evens out my texture, but I do think this is light, so maybe I will get the next color. I missed the release of the Suku pre-summer release because I was on vacation, and when I'm on vacation, I try not to be on my phone, so I missed that, and you can see how light this is. So that's enough for now. So I do try not to be on my phone, so I used to work as a healthcare consultant. I'm going in with the Suku Concealer in 12. So I used to work as a healthcare consultant and I used to fly all over the US helping hospitals with their revenue cycle and clinical stuff because I am a registered nurse. So <laughs> when I used to work as a consultant, one of the policies was that we had to respond to our clients within one to two hours of every phone call or message that they left. So after I quit being a consultant, <laughs> I hated my phone. And I told all my friends because they were like, why don't you answer my text? And I used to say, well, unless you're paying me, I'm only gonna reply to emergencies. So if you really need to get a hold of me, call my landline. <laughs> that way I know it's an emergency because nobody ever calls your landline, right? So I told them, call my landline if it's actually an emergency because no one calls landlines anymore. But the reason I have landlines is because I used to work in trauma ICU and with cell phones, they still don't have the capability of being able to track exactly where you are and it takes some time. And I do have a friend whose daughter um, got burned by a candle, her face from here back, and she didn't have a landline and she was trying to call 911 and they couldn't hear her because her baby was screaming and crying in her arms 
and they couldn't ping her location for like 10 minutes. That's why I still have a landline. It's just cautious, you know, just like the reason I pay for insurance that's PPO, just so I have the option of knowing I could go to whoever. Anyway, okay, I have this CoverGirl Simply Ages Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powder. It's got hyaluronic vitamin C complex. It doesn't go into your fine lines and wrinkles and it diminishes the look of pores, but my pores are pretty subdued right now because I use the Tarte Smoothing Primer, but I've been wanting to try this. I've had this for so long, but I never opened it, so I'm taking the tape off. I have mine in the color 225 Buff Beige. So let's try this. This is the color. Huh, that looks like it'll work, right? So, I'm gonna use my hourglass brush, take that, and I'm gonna put this under my eyes. And let's see on half my face, if it does what it says it does. It is making my foundation deeper, which I needed because my suku was too light. But you can see on this half of my face, it's darker than this side, and it does minimize the look of pores. Hmm. Now the big question is, will this last? But you can see how much deeper that made my skin tone. Actually, it's better for me now with the light foundation that I had. So let me finish setting my face. Okay, so far I like that. So only time will tell how this will wear. But so far, so good. I thought I would go back to using my Jason Wu for my eyebrows. So let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I finished putting on my eyebrows. Now I have this boy brow from Glossier. Woo, I don't know how old this is, so let's see. I may need to declutter this. So let's try this on the brows. So let's see. So people were asking me in my comments to talk more about myself so you guys could get to know me. So you guys know I'm 49. I used to work as a registered nurse. I worked in trauma surgical ICU and then I was a case manager for transplant before I went back to school to get my MBA. It still works. Okay, now I wanna use the Makeup by Mario Prep and Set. I initially thought that this was getting too dry for me, but I actually got it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes. So I do have my MBA. That's how I went into healthcare consulting and I used to work for one of the big five. I think it's one of the big fours now, right? So I used to work for one of the big fives. I traveled every week for three years. And I was doing the corporate rat race. And I loved it. Loved it while I did it. Had no life. And I was getting older and decided that I needed to focus on my plan A because I wanted to get married. Okay, I have that and I set that. So I thought today I would use the ColourPop That's Taupe. These are the colors in here, and I've already used this, but I don't think I've used it on camera, so I thought I would use this today. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a round brush, and I'm gonna go into this color right here. So after three years of consulting, I quit to focus on my personal life. And at the time, I have two friends, so I was, um, how old was I? I was in my early 30s. And I had two friends who didn't know each other call me on the same day and tell me that they were diagnosed with cancer. Tell me that's not freaky. I had already thought about quitting, so I took this as a sign <laughs> that God wanted me to slow the heck down. So I did. I ended up quitting. I'm going to go into this color right here. I quit and um, I focused on my dating life and my personal life and getting back into getting healthy again and I worked out five days a week. I was dating a lot on Match.com but I focused my efforts, I did it like a work plan. I went on a lot of dates, you guys. A lot of Match.com dates and that's actually how I met my husband. Okay, I'm liking how that's turning out. What do you guys think? Okay, then I'm gonna take my Smith 232 brush, 253 brush. I'm gonna go into this color right here and put that all over my lid. Ooh, it's sparkly. I probably can wet it to get it more payoff, but I don't really need a lot of payoff. Today I'm going to check out some more dance studios. My daughter's in the process of changing dance studios. She's still competing her solos, but we need to look for a new dance team. 
So we're gonna go tour a dance studio today. So she's six and she's been competing for two years. She thinks she wants to be a professional dancer and I've been told that she has what it takes. So I guess I need to support her, right? <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now I have the new Tarte C Surfer Curl Eyeliner and I have mine in the color black. And I heard this is great for waterproof eyeliner. So this is what it looks like. It comes like this. And it's one of the twist up kind. And let's try swatching this. Oh yeah, that looks really good. So I'm gonna put that on my waterline. Oh, it's creamy and smooth, easy. So only time will tell if that'll stay on or not. Using my Syrah eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. So we gotta look for a new dance studio. And I didn't grow up doing dance, so this is like a really foreign world to me. And I was told to watch Dance Moms to see how crazy these moms get. <laughs> I can't imagine. Okay, then I want to try the Their Real Magnet Mascara. I got a sample size of these. I don't know if it's a sample size or a mini. I bet it's a sample size. So I thought I would try this mascara out today. This is what the brush looks like. It, it looks like it's plastic, but the bristles are short, so we'll see. So since I don't know much about dance, I have to take the advice of my girlfriends who have older kids who compete. But Kaya's been doing well. At her last competition, she got third place in a scholarship for a dance convention. So that's good. That's for her solo, not for the dance team. But she dances typically, not right this second, but usually she takes six dance classes a week and does a solo, so that's seven hours of dance without including her practices. Okay, this mascara, I don't know. It's not doing anything for me. It is separating though because the hard bristles, I guess they're a little lengthening. This side of my eye, the Latisse works better right here in the middle than anywhere else on both my eyes. Crazy, right? Okay, so those are my eyes. Then I wanted to try the Tarte C Breezy Cream Blush and the bronzer. Now I've heard such good things about these. And so this bronzer is in the color Seychelles. I got the smaller size. I've heard this is so good. So I wanted to try this out. This is what the color looks like. Super creamy. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take my Fenty face brush, the 125, and I'm gonna stipple that on there. And it does pick up quite a bit, so let me stipple some of that off. And stipple that, and you know any cream, pro cream products I like to put on over a set face. Oh, that's pretty. It's not picking up my set face, so that's good. This is a nice color for me. I like that. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, Tarte, I see you. That's really pretty. Okay, let's look at this Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Blush. I got mine in the color Peach Sunset. So let's try this. And this is the package. So I got the mini in the bronzer and then the regular size in the blush. A mini wasn't available in the blush. So let's go ahead and try this. And let's put that right here. Ooh, that's pretty too. So I'm taking my Fenty brush and I'm going to wipe that off. So I can use the brush for my blush as well. Oh, that's pretty. I love that it doesn't pick up any product, any of my concealer or foundation. That's a pretty color, isn't it? Let me do my nose, going back into the bronzer. Then I'm gonna wipe off my lip. And I'm not a liquid lip person, but I got this as a free gift. It's the Kylie Velvet Liquid Lip and Lip Liner. And this is in the color Bare, so I thought I'd try that today. So it comes with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. So let's go ahead and swatch this. This lip liner is in the color, oh, look at that. So let me sharpen this, I'll be right back. Okay, I sharpened this, and let's go ahead and swatch this. 
So this is a color bear. Oh, that's pretty. So let me line my lips. I'm going to color it in. Ew, I like this color. And then let's try the liquid lip. So this is also in the color bear. So this is what it looks like, says Kylie. And let's swatch this right up here. So that's that. And let's try it on. Ooh, it's lighter than I like. Okay, that's the color. Oh, a concealer lip. So I'm gonna go back over with my lip liner and put this on the outer portions of my lip. And I like it better with this outlined in it and the liquid lipstick only on the inside. Okay, there you have it, my full face. Let's talk about the new items. Okay, this powder looks good so far. This CoverGirl Simply Access. So far, so good. It's not going into my fine lines and wrinkles. It is diminishing the look of my pores. Only time will tell if it continues to do that because, I mean, I have pores, but I don't want them to be emphasized, right? And then the That's Taupe, love this, love, love this eyeshadow palette. It's a cool tone. I love it. It looks natural. I mean, it's something that you can wear in the corporate world every day. I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but in the corporate world I used to work in, we had to be dressed conservative. So love this. So far, I love this eyeliner from Tarte. It's not going onto the bottom lower um, waterline at all, so only time will tell how this wears, but so far, so good. Now this Real Magnet Mascara, I'm not a fan. It looks all right. I, I need... I feel like I need more volume and it's not really holding a curl, especially on this side. This side, my eyelashes are really long in the middle, so it goes up, but yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. The Tarte Bronzer and Blush, I love these. They go great over a set face. They're creamy. Only time will tell. I mean, we'll see how it lasts on my skin all day, but it is beautiful. So these were a huge win for me. And as for the Kylie lip, I like the lip liner a lot and the, and the color because look at how great that color is. But this is too much of a concealer lip for me, so I'll probably not wear this again. But for a matte liquid lipstick, it's pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel too drying or anything. I think that's it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and getting to know me a little bit better. If you have more questions you want me to answer, let me know down in the comments below. Before you leave, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.